Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for some more model showcases. Today we're going to talk about the Drogon egg and the modern phase. Stay tuned. So first up is the Drogon egg. This is made by Zeke Azakura on Thingiverse. Link will be down below. This is amazing. Basically, he took the Drogon model, the little Drogon, remember I printed it in, in ultra yellow, and he put it inside the dragon's egg. And that is freaking cool. I mean, that is really, really cool. Uh, he even marks it as a remix from the dragon egg by LJ Botero and the pseudo dragon by Talismancer. And this is printed in Paramount 3D's Gold Krugerand, which is um, a very warm, semi-transparent gold filament with gold glitter in it. And it is one of my favorite prints, or one of my favorite plastics at least. I love this plastic. Very, very cool. He's also rigid enough and stiff enough. I, I used a lot of infill, so he's heavy. This, this weighs over a pound. And um, there's not too many thin little points. So he would actually make a usable, for example, candy dish to keep on the table. You know, the dragon's gonna protect your candy stash. <laughs> but that is just, wow. Uh, this was printed on the, I think I printed this on the TiVo Flash. Yeah, but I believe this is printed on the TiVo Flash. Incredible. It came out so nice. I was so impressed with it. I would like to see a two-piece version, so I can maybe print a dragon in a different color. I think that would be really cool. Might be reasonably easy to do. You can see inside there. The bottom should be flat enough, and instead of doing a two-color print, I can just do a two-piece print. This way you don't have the purge block and stuff to worry about. Print the egg, print the dragon, put them together. I think that'd be pretty slick. So I may attempt to do that if the modeler doesn't do it. I gotta learn how to use Best Picture one of these days. Oh, definitely the flash. Nice glassy. You can see the nice reflective bottom. There it is. There you go. That's that mirror finish of that glass plate. Very, very cool print. I'm impressed. Next up, I have the Modern Vase by Cubitronics. This was printed in the new Vertigo Starlight, which is a really dark bluish purple filament from Filamentum with a blue glitter in it. And the idea is to represent a starlit sky. And it's pretty impressive. You need the right light to really see it nicely, but once you see it, oh, it's very pretty. Cubitronics made this vase. I printed it with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle on the Reality Ender 3. You see that is one layer thick, that really thick path you see there? That's one perimeter, that's not two or three. So that is what you get with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. And the result is a crazy strong print. It's not quite watertight, but a little bit of resin in the bottom will take care of that. But that is beautiful. And I think this printed in like four or five hours. It's it's stupid fast how fast you could print with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. <laughs> Even though you're only doing 25 millimeters a second because you're laying down so much plastic per pass that I only need one perimeter for this instead of three perimeters to get the same thickness. So one third the time, even though it's running at half the speed. It's really pretty impressive. Although I did do 0.2 millimeter layer height on this. So I get the really thick walls and fast printing, but I still get that crazy smooth resolution. You can almost see reflections. It's so smooth. Right here, you see like reflections. It's really impressive. Cubitronic, you did a nice job on this vase. I like this. I want to print your egg next. I saw, I just saw that on Thingiverse, and I want to print that next. But beautiful, beautiful vase. I, I printed that as big as I can print on the Ender 3, so I scaled it up a tiny bit. So there you go. You have Cubitronic's modern vase, and you have Zeke Asakura's very beautiful Drogon egg, which I am very, very impressed with. I also have Farage, one of his wavy cups. This is printed in 3D Cytec Ultra Yellow and also printed with a um, 
Well, this is printed on the TiVo Flash, but I over extruded by 150%, so you still have somewhat thick um, perimeters because the Ultra PLA is a little weak when you print it thin. But if you print it thick, it's plenty strong enough. You can see how crazy flexible this is. It's kind of weird. Did I break that or did it just. Oh, yeah, I did break it. But you can see how crazy flexible it is because of all the curviness. It was starting to wobble a little bit, so I have a little bit of um, artifacts on the side here. It's nice down here, but as soon as it gets up to about here, because it's so flexible, it starts to wobble a little bit. This will print a lot better with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. Um, that's it. Links to all three of these will be down below. I hope you enjoy them. Don't forget, Patreon, subscribe, PayPal links down below. You guys have a great day. I will see you next week.